In this video, we are going to show you how to properly use Senko's MT to MPO adapter. The MT to MPO adapter is a product that can save a substantial amount of space when being installed in tight enclosures. Typically, the MT ferrule side will be installed in an environment commonly referred to as behind the wall, where access is restricted or limited once deployed. The MPO will then be connected to it from an access point. To use the MT to MPO adapter properly, it is important to install the MT ferrule in the adapter first. Commonly, as the MT ferrule will be behind the wall, it would be male with pins. The pin keepers are specially designed to be low profile for this adapter. The MPO connecting to the adapter from the front will therefore be female or pinless. Another thing to note when installing one of these ferrules is that the angle of the end face is very important in order to maintain polarity. The pair should be installed such that they are both properly aligned making note of the angles with respect to the key of the MPO side. In this case, the empty ferrule will be installed window side down in order to properly mate to the MPO. This is because the key on the MPO side is up. Therefore, the empty ferrule shall be installed first like such. Take note of the pin keeper in the back of the ferrule and notice that there is no gap between the ferrule and the pin keeper. Once the empty ferrule is properly installed, place the cover over the empty ferrule side to lock the ferrule into place. Then, the MPO connector can be plugged into the other side of the adapter, aligning the key with the key slot like a typical connector. Once the empty ferrule and the MPO are installed following these guidelines, you have properly mated an empty ferrule to an MPO connector using the MT to MPO adapter. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more Senko fiber optic content.